up everybody we're gonna head out today see if we could get a little bit of dolphin the dolphin run seems to be doing pretty good lately um it's about 6 30 in the morning we're gonna try to hit the reef when we get some lobster spearing some bottom fishing so we'll see you out there This is our spread. We're trolling two plugs off the back, about 150 feet on the right one, and on the left, it's about 200 feet. And we're trolling right around, right around six, six knots. But uh, we're seeing a couple birds and flying fish, so let's see. Even if he's a little small, it's very exciting. What do you think, babe? <laughs> little fish. First fish. Little fish. Small peanut dolphin, but they're out here. Gotta be patient. Bigger fish. Yeah. Soon as we went in. Yep, you were right. They're a little bit more, uh, All right, let's more in short. We got two bites. First one was too small. Second one was a good sized dolphin. Allie's up, so it's her turn. So let's see if we can get on some of these fish. Here you go. 
little bit. Come on. Oh, he got off. Damn. On to the ride of his life. <laughs> <laughs> got it? Yeah, come on. There you go. Oh, oh I got off again. Got off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> First little grouper, a little strawberry. We're out in the patch reefs here. We're trying to see if we uh, catch any little, little snapper stuff. Nice. All right, let's get it back. A little yellowtail. That's all right. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> nice, babe. So cute. Oh, all right, toss them in. Oh, thank you. There you go. <laughs> so cute. Yellow tail. Got 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Let's see if we can shoot some fish. yellowtail and we're going to use half of that mahi that we have down there so we're going to start with the yellowtail
right, so we're gonna make a uh, seafood paella. You're gonna wanna start with a skillet. It doesn't have to be this type of skillet. You can do a skillet um, on your stove top, um, but we're gonna use this type of skillet. And you wanna use medium heat, uh, 325, 350. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some olive oil, a quarter cup of olive oil. After that, we're gonna add our onions. We're gonna saute our onions. If you wanna use some bell peppers, you can use bell peppers as well. We are not gonna use bell peppers because we don't like them. Uh, we also don't have uh, garlic cloves, so we're gonna add some garlic powder to this mix. But it's better if you use garlic cloves. Couple dabs in there. All right, once we get the, the onions nice and cooked, we're gonna come in with a eight ounce of tomato sauce. We're gonna come in with a little sweet paprika. It could be smoked paprika. Sweet paprika, just a little bit. Now we're gonna add our bay leaves. These are small, so I'm gonna add three of them. Mix that around. You wanna cook the onions until they're translucent. The most important ingredient to a paella is saffron. This is what's gonna give it the color, it's gonna give it the taste, just a pinch. That's it. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, maybe sea salt, and we're gonna crack some pepper. Take a little bit of a kick and put in some red pepper flakes. Just a little bit. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of white wine. We don't have white wine, but we're going to use pink Moscato. And that should do. So a quarter cup of that. about 12 ounces of shrimp. Make sure it's cooked too. And now we're gonna add our pieces of fish. There's our mahi and our yellowtail in chunks. Now we're gonna add in our Spanish rice. the rice we're using. You can use any rice, but it's better to use Spanish rice, like this one. Now we're gonna stir this around for about a minute. Stir, give this a good stir for a minute. We wanna spread everything around, make it even in the skillet. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken broth. Um, one whole container of these, which is about four cups. All right, now we're gonna bring this up to a boil and we're not going to stir anymore, okay? No stirring. We're just gonna give this a little shake. Make sure that the rice is even. And once we bring it to a boil, we're gonna put it down to medium, low heat. We're bringing it down from a boil to medium, low heat, and we're gonna leave this cooking for 15 to 18 minutes. All right, so we cooked the paella for roughly 18 minutes, and then we covered it for an additional 10 to 12 minutes. Everybody's skill is gonna be different, um, and we found that that's the best time for this. And you want to check to see if your rice is cooked. Just try a little piece. That's perfect. If there's no moisture in there, 
and your rice is still not cooked, you can add some water or some more chicken broth and keep cooking it. But this is, this is ready to go. All right, remember, we never stirred the rice. We just left it as it is. And that's what you want. You want that crispy rice on the bottom. That's ridiculously good. Oh wow. It's really good. Yep. That is awesome. <laughs> that crispy rice on the bottom is so good too. Well, let us know what you guys think about this uh, recipe. Let us know if you ever tried paella before. Uh, let us know in the comments. Is that it? <laughs>